Hey, what's going on, everyone? Welcome back. My name is Steve, and this is Maple and Honey. We got some Portillo's dogs today. We got Portillo hot dogs, actually a Polish dog, um, and a big beef sandwich. Delicious, nice and juicy. We got some uh, fried crinkle fries and onion rings, and we're gonna pair it with some fine whiskey right here, uh, Old Forester 1920 um, bourbon. So we're gonna try these two out together, and I'll share my thoughts with you and have a grand old lunch all by myself. All right, here we go. First, the whiskey. All right, we got 1920 Old Forester uh, Prohibition style whiskey. It's one of my favorite whiskeys that I have that are sort of like a daily drinkers. 57.5% alcohol by volume. You know, it's not it's not a very um, light whiskey by any means, but it doesn't drink this high, and that's the key here. It's very mellow, very uh, excellent mouthfeel, uh, very medium on the. Uh, on the on the finish and it's delicious and the the best thing about it actually is that it's available you can find this whiskey just about anywhere so we'll try this guy out right now and see see what's what all right so a little thing about old forester they have i mean they got a bunch of whiskeys but in this line of, uh, of Old Forester line, they got the 1920, 1910, and something 1870 or something like that. They got four lineups that has the year um, uh, date on it. Uh, but everyone's favorite for the most part I know is the 1920 and the 1910. Let's give it a, let's give it a try. And the nose. Right away, uh, like apples, like a, like a cooked apple. And maple syrup. Smells good. Let's give it a swig. Mm. Ooh, first drink of the day. It's pretty hot, but again, it's not that hot. It's not like, oh my goodness, I can't, you know, get my head around it. It's not that hot, but it's it's 115 again, so it gives you a little, definitely a little tingle as it goes down. It's well balanced by, by the maple syrupy notes, sugary notes, and fruity notes. It's very well balanced, has a lot of dimensions to it when you, when you, uh, when you take a sip. Let's try it again. And because of its high, higher proof percentage, of proof content, it's it has a very good mouthfeel. From the moment it touches your, your palate all the way down through your throat, um, it coats it real well. It has a very um, full mouthfeel. And it's good. It has a slight oakiness towards the end. Very slight. It's not overpowering. It's not smoky. It's not peaty. A little bit of a, like a toasted ground cracker notes, toasted bread notes. Like a, a lot of apple, like a to not toasted apple, like a cooked apple. Like if you're making applesauce or baking apple pie or something like that. Delicious. As you can see, I'm halfway through already. And uh, it's good. It's uh, easy to drink, 115 proof, but easy to drink. Sweet on the palate, very nice mouthfeel. And I don't feel guilty drinking it because, you know, some of the other whiskeys out there, you drink it and you're like, oh, I don't know if I could find another one, right? Oh, I have to go search for it or like, I don't know um, if, you know, stores that I usually hit up, they usually, they have, do they have it or not? I don't know. So like sometimes I, I nurse it or like I sort of, you know, push back on it even though I crave it. This one, I don't have that. I know that I could drink it and I go to a store and I pick it up. Uh, and at any time, so it's a good feeling. You don't you don't want to worry about oh this is the last bottle I have for a while. That's that's not a good feeling when you're enjoying your whiskey. So let's have another swig. I'm getting a little more like an oaky finish now. A lot more oakiness. Towards the end, a little molasses. 
and that tingle is really nice. In the beginning, the first sip I had, uh, it, it did give a little kick in my palate, but now it's more of a gentle tingle, like a little purr as it goes down. Um, and it's, it's quite good. All right, <sighs> moving on to the food. All right, it's lunchtime and I'm hungry. But again, we got the, what is it called? Let's see here. We got the Maxwell Polish street dog, I think, with extra grilled onions. I can't wait. This is my favorite, actually, even more than this one. We got the beef beef sandwich, double dipped with sweet and hot peppers together, and onion rings and crinkle fries. So, all right, let's get to it. I know this, uh, the Portillo's is huge in East Coast, uh, but I think on the West Coast, I don't know how many locations they have, but I know we had this location in Buena Park. If I feel like a nice dog, uh, I feel like a nice beef uh, sandwich, I go ahead and head up there and, and get myself a dog, so. All right, let's try the, the Polish dog out first. I don't think I can finish this all, so I'll probably eat half of each. Um, all right, here we go. Hope you have a good, good lunch as well. Mm. I picked this up about 30 minutes ago, so it's a little bit soggy now, but it's good. But I think the onion rings are still crispy. I'm gonna put a, a sphere of ice in there. <clears throat> See if it'll make any difference. Got a little sphere of ice. Okay. I said I'm only gonna have a half of this, but I think I'm gonna finish it. Tastes like pears, like fresh cut pears. That's strange. Might be. It might be the ice that changed the flavor. Could be. It's good. Dip in the barbecue sauce a little bit. The Polish stuff is so snappy. Mm, man, I absolutely love that. <clears throat> so every every bite into the the middle of the sausage is snaps and snaps and snaps. It's delicious. The fries are a little underwhelming. I mean, I like it when it's right off the, the fryer, but right now it's a little bit cold. It's getting cold. It's not cold yet. But these onion rings, they are amazing. If you're, if you're drinking whiskey, the people over whatever, 
maybe if you have fries or onion rings or fried zucchini or something like that. It also goes pretty well with it. I feel like any fried foods with whiskey is spot on. They're a really good pair. Um, I don't know why, it's because it's oily and and the alcohol sort of cancels it. I have no idea, but whatever it is, if it's fried, I feel like the whiskey sort of melds really good together it's, or combines together and uh, creates a pretty good, like a combination. All right. Now for the big boy. There we go. Again, pears. Like, I don't know why. Like a pear that I sort of rolled it around on top of a, like a toasted wood, and I took a bite out of it. What it tastes like. It does not taste, or it does not drink like 115 proof at all. It's absolutely delicious. It says back here, this whiskey is distilled by us only, and we are responsible for its richness and fine quality. Its elegant flavor is solely due to the original fineness developed with care and underlining the next part. There is nothing better in the market. Well, there you have it. There's nothing in the world that's better than this in the market. Delicious. <laughs> okay. I think I'm done for the for the meal. So what's my verdict? Old Forster 1920. All day zipper, delicious, affordable, available, which is huge. Try it out if you haven't. If you like sweet whiskey with a little bit of kick, this one too. This is the one to uh, try out. Uh, you won't be disappointed. You can find it anywhere. <clears throat> delicious. Portillo's, uh, I can't say enough about Portillo's. Their, their beef dip if, is, is top notch. Their, what do you call it? Uh, Polish stock, delicious with their grilled onions. Uh, fries were okay. The the onion wings were crispy and I love them. So together, I thought they were really good. Um, I was thinking of trying something else other than 1920, but I I'm, I'm glad I picked that this one. So you know, if you got a chance to try both of them together, it doesn't have to be a uh, Portillo's hot dog. If you have a you know, another beef dip place that beef dip place that you you frequent and you like to uh, eat for lunch or something like that, try it out with the, the 1920 uh, old forester. You won't be disappointed. So, all right, that's all I have for you today. Um, appreciate your time and hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below. It would help the channel a lot and um, appreciate your time again. Catch you on the next one. See ya.